welcome to this week's episode of the Financial Insight uh, Show. Uh, this is the main segment, and uh, today I have a very, very special guest and a good friend uh, in uh, Mr. Mabin uh, Mudenda. Mr. Mudenda, welcome to the Financial Insight Show. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me uh, on the Insight, uh, Financial Insight Show. Yeah, it's it's wonderful to actually have you here, and uh, you know what you know what you know what uh, what a, what a ride that we've had so far. Believe it or not, we're now currently on episode number four. Wow, that's uh, that's interesting. Yes, Very interesting. You've done you've done extremely well. Um, congratulations to you and your team. No, thank and, you so uh, much. We are we are happy to support where we can, and um, yeah, let's see let's see let's see the financial insight uh, brand grow even worldwide. Absolutely. Yeah. Anyway, um, you know, because this is your first time on the show, we always like, uh, you know, like our guests to tell us a bit more about themselves. I mean, a few people know who Mabin Mudenda is. How would you describe Mabin Mudenda, the entrepreneur? Thank you, uh, Mr. Chivasakunda. It depends on how they know Mabin Mudenda. There are some people who know Mabin Mudenda uh, in a good way, some know him in a bad way. But uh, I think here, uh, Mabin Mudenda is actually a, 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 an entrepreneur. Is um, I believe I'm a venture capitalist, um, a businessman in Osaka. I own quite a few businesses now, um, um, both in Zambia and South Africa and Zimbabwe now. And uh, yes, we that's maybe in Mudenda basically. I'm a father of six girls. Wow, six. Six Wonderful. girls, yes, and uh, grandfather of one. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. And uh, yeah, I'm a Christian. I attend uh, 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 Miracle Life uh, Church, family church in Osaka. I'm married to, to a beautiful lady called Namuya Mudenda. Yeah, and she's your, she's more like your business partner. Uh, uh, yes, we, we or your we, director. We, actually, we, we work together on everything. Uh, I all, I've always believed that uh, your 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 wife would make the best best manager in terms of your funds. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, uh, she, I think the main reason is that she's got she's got she's more of the interest to look after the business and the, for the family as well. Absolutely, yeah. that's wonderful. Now, Mr. Mdenda, uh, just last month, um, excitingly, we had an opportunity to bump into each other at uh, the Cape Town uh, International Mining in Daba yes. at the Cape Town Convention yes. Center. Um, I know you wear several uh, hats uh, for the different uh, types of businesses, but just tell us a little bit about what. Uh, you know what hat you were wearing at the mining in Dava, as well as you know, like that particular line uh, of business that you were representing there, and overall, how you found the 2023 edition of the mining in Dava this year. Um, so let me start on how I found it. Uh, it was very interesting this year. Uh, funny enough, maybe because of uh, the COVID, the COVID uh, period we had before, we didn't have two sessions of the Indaba. Uh, we started 2021, 2020, uh, 2022. Sorry, 2022 was good as well. Uh, 2023 was more of uh, um, uh, reconnecting with the people that, with the companies and uh, uh, partners that we hadn't seen in the last two years, past two years. And uh, our connection mainly was uh, was great, and it was in huge numbers this year. Uh, this, this year, it was uh, through that. You'd be surprised. I've I've ended up getting business for for my fuel tankers, wow. for insurance. And for Kamoto, Kamoto is a, is a company that, we've, that we started two years ago, which has got uh, warehousing facilities on the copper belt, uh, bonded warehouse, warehousing facilities, uh, which uh, Glencoe and Truff and most of the blue chip, uh, tr uh, blue chip uh, trading boys from the UK, we supply them quite a lot with zinc, copper, but they've been using that warehouse for transits from Congo for sulfur and copper. So I was, we were basically meeting up with these people um, to, to see whether we will continue for the next two years, signing up contracts. It was really, really good. Yeah. So the hat I was wearing um, at the Indaba was the Mudenda Capital, uh, which is uh, the, holding the holding fund, basically, for all the businesses that I run. Uh, I will explain that in detail uh, when you give me a chance. Absolutely. No, we'll actually get into that. But uh, I think uh, 
to target uh, one of your businesses, I know that you're executive director of uh, Southern Logistics, and you've just touched on that. You have north of 170 uh, trucks on that particular one, and uh, I believe like it's an independent company, but it's been growing fast, and I can only imagine that the mining in Dava obviously, obviously opened up a, a lot of business. But, you know, uh, I never imagined a situation where maybe Mudendo will find himself in transportation. Tell us a bit uh, about how you found yourself in transportation and what the journey has been uh, like both and how are you managing to juggle, you know? So, um, it's interesting, uh, with uh, the transportation, you know, before I went into insurance, uh, before I became an insurance agent, I used to work for Oxfam and UNHCR. I was mainly logistics. Even when I went into the insurance, mm -hmm. most of my clients were... Uh, on, the, on the Congo side, I had big clients on the Congo, uh, Group Bazano, mm -hmm. Anvil Mining. <clears throat> so I used to do most of their the transits, GIT transits. So I sort of, I sort of still stayed in the logistics, um, logistics corner through my through insurance. I, I worked for Cargo Management Logistics as marketing manager, CML. I, uh, I was on the board for VS Cargo okay. for the for the longest time. Um, with, uh, um, I, I also sat on the board for, for Kamoto, which is mainly uh, copper, and now we turned it around into the warehousing, uh, warehousing facility company. So that already, I had the background of logistics and everything. So when the opportunity came with Southern Logistics, Southern Logistics is what is called Southern Diesel in Zimbabwe. Um, it's owned by the Smith Smith family, okay. so the Smith family wanted to venture into Zambia. Okay. Then we decided, look, let's make, let's even do, it, let's even do a bigger thing. Let's venture into Zambia, Congo, Mozambique. So we grew the business. It's actually called here in Zambia. It's actually called MK Petroleum. Okay. MK Petroleum <clears throat> stands for Mudenda Kaliwanda. Mudenda is myself. Mm -hmm. Kaliwanda is my wife. So we, 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 we uh, MK, uh, Southern Logics trades at MK Petroleum in Zambia. So that's how we partnered with the Smith, uh, with the Smith family. And um, look, we've grown the business and um, we've got a good team there. We've got, a, we've got um, 168 tankers. Um, we've got about 30 in Zambia. I think I've got about five uh, admin workers in Zimbabwe. We've got a good 50 old workers uh, in Mozambique um, at the depot. We've got another 10, 15 workers. The business is growing. Um, we eventually, we've been sort of given um, an oil marketing, oil marketing company license now. So we'll venture into uh, oil marketing now. So slowly the business is growing. In Congo, we've got a depot uh, that, we are, we are, we, that, we, that we recently sort of started and we're we're trying to grow as well. Uh, as I speak now, I think Southern Logics is the biggest fuel transportation company in the country. Yeah, and I think probably in the in the region. Wow, yeah. that's 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 quite impressive. You know, um, I you guys are now operating in multiple countries. Yes, I, I, I would like to describe your company as a Pan African uh, company now. Yes, but yes. then, Mr. Mdenda, you know, it must be quite uh, an interesting challenge to uh, manage a company that is in. Uh, domicile in several geographical locations. What is it like and what is your role uh, in this diverse, multilingual and multiple currency mm -hmm. uh, sort of environment? What's the business landscape like and how do you position yourself as an executive to provide uh, leadership in such a setup? Yeah, okay, so look, uh, the, the, sim the simple, question, uh, simple answer to your question is um, key, key thing to any business is human capital. Correct. Yeah. So for me, uh, I've always been very good with, uh, with, uh, with uh, basically human capital. So I fit in quite well in the, in this, I fit in quite well around my, <clears throat> around my offices as we grow. I, I've set up the Congo one. I can't speak French, funny enough, hmm. but <laughs> it, it seems that it seems I always tend to get on with, uh, with different people. Um, in terms of currency, we know that uh, dollar, the dollar is what we used within, whether it's South Africa, whether it's, uh, Zambia, whether it's Mozambique, the, the, what speaks is the US dollar uh, at the end of the day. Um, yeah, so I would say connections, uh, even within the partners, we are different, we have got different, uh, 
different abilities. Um, uh, Alex is good at something else, I'm good at this. So we sort of, uh, when it comes to marketing and sales, I'm the one who goes out, whether it's to Rwanda, whether it's to Congo, whether it's to Mozambique. Alex does all the op company operations. David is logistics director. He makes sure all the, all the trucks are uh, organized. Whether it's in Congo, you fly to Congo, you go wherever we have, a, we have, a, we have an operation. Wow, so that means that you do get to travel around uh, quite a bit. Yes, we, no, we, we travel quite a lot, yeah. Okay, now that's quite interesting. Now, um, I'd like to turn your attention to your other business, yes. Is This Way. I know it's a, a wholly Zambian-owned company that you and your wife uh, set up. Uh, tell us a little bit more about uh, what In This Way does, where it's positioned, where it actually started from, and what the prospects are looking like for that particular entity. Okay, so In This Way, Insisa first started as an agency for, as you know, I, I used to own African Grey Insurance. Yes, I remember. Which we sold to uh, Mr. David Kombe, my brother. And after that, <clears throat> after we sold African Grey, my, my wife and myself decided, look, we've got a clientele base. And then our clientele base was about 10, uh, 10 million, 10 million, 10 million pouches. Um, we then thought, this was six, seven years ago, thought, you know what, let's talk to African Grey. I was still a shareholder, small shareholder then. Um, I'd remained about maybe 10% shareholder. So we, we moved to getting uh, an agency license. We're agents for African Grey at the time. Then we eventually saw that, look, we, <laughs> our business is growing. Let's just go for the broker right. and spread our wings. So we did, um, <clears throat> we did, we got a broker license. Uh, within the year two, uh, we grew our business to, I would say we got a clientele base of three, three to $4 million now. Oh, that's yeah. impressive. Um, and then we, we got a license to, to start in Seasway in South Africa. So we partnered with um, a couple as well in South Africa that works together as well. Uh, uh, Mickey Smart, the, with Mickey, we then named uh, in Cisway in South Africa in Cisway Management Service, but trading as Funda Medical. You can Google Funda Medical to come up or in Cisway Health South Africa. It comes up. Uh, we we are then working between the two. In Cisway does working with it, it works within the two countries, but for Zambia, uh, my wife runs that business. Um, she's licensed uh, with PIA. She. She's the CEO. I've sort of stayed away from that business, but obviously yeah. within the businesses that under Mudenda Capital, we support the broker firm as well. It's actually a brokerage. It's in the same, uh, it does what, it does the same thing as Marsh, uh, Minet, Aon. Um, maybe the only difference is that we, we've concentrated a lot on medical insurance and medical, uh, individual medical, um, uh, policies, pensions. We work a lot with uh, uh, Prudential here. Uh, we are the brokers now for FQM on the pension scheme, um, which was a huge pension scheme. Um, but if I'm not mistaken, we are also doing uh, Mabiza Resources, which was Munali Nikomai, on the pensions and all the other uh, 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 businesses and policies. But uh, we, we've grown the business and um, hence uh, also wanting to do a lot of stuff now in the market since I'm, I've, I've sort of I've pulled out of that uh, that market. Um, I, in a way, I, I'm not showing off, but uh, I feel that uh, I needed to now sort of excel from to do other things. And um, Southern Logics, uh, Kamoto, and Parts Pavilion have moved have moved me onto the international platform. Right. Yeah. Now that's uh, that's that's actually quite uh, quite impressive, and um, I think the, the one thing that uh, really like intrigues uh, uh, you know financial insight is you know you are a business leader that's obviously operating in multiple jurisdictions, and you know of, on the Insizwe side, how would you say that you know like especially how current economic uh, uh, conditions have been, and how they how you've seen them impact uh, your business, and what sort of uh, 
uh, leadership would you basically provide in a situation like that? Because obviously some of your business interests are in economies that are seemingly doing a little bit better, but then there's also stability on the home front. But then, you know, the, the business dynamics do tend to be different. How does Mabin then position himself to ensure that he's able to provide leadership? Well, <laughs> that's, a, that's a very good question. Um, for example, here in Zambia, um, we know that the, uh, I don't like to get into politics, but we know that the situation now, obviously, and we were warned that it was going to get a bit tough as, as, we, as we go through uh, with the new government. And um, yes, um, for me, I like to, pos I always say to, I always say to, uh, to, to, to people that actually follow me to say, look, the rough, uh, the, it will become rough, yeah. but we will need to just go, and we just need to go with the roughness and, and, work, and work through it. At the end of the day, what is important are your results of what you're going to achieve. I think that's the answer I can give you for now. Right, yeah. right. And uh, w would you say that uh, maybe Mudenda, um, if need be, can position himself to you know, advocate uh, for policies that are pro-business if situations are, you know, uh, if there's certain things that you notice are, are becoming a bit of a bottleneck for businesses? Yes, I would. I mean, I'm a businessman. Um, I have to look after my interests. Absolutely. Yeah, so I, I think I would, yeah. Right. So now, essentially now, one of the things that we also noted that, uh, you know, although, you know, you are now in the logistics space, uh, a bit arm's length uh, on the Insiswe side of things, you mentioned earlier on about, you know, some of your, your South African interests around Mudenda Capital. Are you able to just give us a top level, uh, you know, um, overview in terms of what that's all about? Okay. So Mudenda Capital, I, I set up uh, three years ago. Uh, reason being, I noticed that I was getting in, I was getting involved in a lot of different things. Mm, I spoke to two or three fund. I call them funders, not in, not investors. investors yeah. <laughs> and we agreed that we would go, we would go with uh, Mudenda Capital. They like the name. They say, it's, look, it talks about you. So That's correct. And we'll just fund what comes with it. Um, we then went into the market. Um, our first transaction under Mdenda Capital was a company called Pats Pavilion, which is very big in South Africa. It's a woman oil mining company uh, led by an Africana lady called Tanya. She's CEO. Uh, she's got a, <clears throat> a group of about eight, uh, I'm sorry, a team of about eight people, right. eight ladies that work there. They're all into mining. They will even actually attend the, the Zambia Mining women's conference that's coming up with Mopani the end of the month um, in, on the copper belt. Um, that, is, that, is a, that is a company where we invested about 30, we'd end up to put in, injected about, we bought about 30% um, stake in that business. It's now registered in Zambia as well, uh, but mainly South African. Um, Kamoto, Kamoto as you know is a is a, uh, is a commodity trading company, which is, co well, but mining commodity, and bonded warehousing for, for mining, mining commodities. Um, that was set up as well, um, and I'm in the capital with different funders. As I speak, we have uh, two warehouses, one in Lusaka, one on the Copper Belt, and the Kamoto that we, uh, pa we have partnered with Royal Clearing and Logistics, that business has been run by uh, a gentleman called uh, Jonathan Wattam. Um, Mr. Wattam is the CEO of, uh, of, the, um, uh, of the, that, that whole uh, setup. Um, he's also got a team that he runs with. Uh, we, we, as Mudenda Capital, are just the, 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 the main shareholders and we obviously run the business. Um, then we have Southern Logistics. Southern Logistics, as you know, MK Petroleum is an investor there, so that's how we're there. Uh, in Sizwe, both South Africa and Zambia. Um, Zimbabwe, uh, I basically sit on a board for, for Southern, Southern, Southern Logics and um, Bitumin World. Bitumin World is a multi-billion dollar company out of Zimbabwe. They do, it's a construction company, they do roads uh, infrastructure basically and um, yeah I just sit on the board for BGM and World. RTT construction in South Africa 
I sit on that board as well. Um, it's, it's a black empowerment company um, uh, owned by ladies as well. Right. One would say maybe I'm a ladies man, but, <laughs> <laughs> but it's owned by uh, some very daughters. powerful yes. ANC women. Absolutely. And um, yeah, we, I, I sit on that board. Um, I represent, fun enough, uh, they call it I represent Zambia, but I mean I represent myself. And um, yeah, basically Modenda Capital runs through most of these companies, I mean uh, stands for most of these companies and uh, as a fund, as a fund uh, uh, I mean as a, as, a, as a holding company that is holding shares for the different, uh, different investments. So I don't get to, I don't get to do everyday work in these businesses. Right. No, I'm a shareholder, exactly. uh, the, the board reports, whichever board is, is there reports to me if I don't sit on the board. So there's only one, one, there's only one company I don't sit on the board, which is uh, on the board, which is Pats Pavilion. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Hey, um, you know, listening to your, you know, your story and uh, the sort of uh, uh, spread in terms of the various business interests that you've had, um, one can easily deduce that uh, maybe Mudenda has been uh, a, a, a professional, uh, an executive who has obviously evolved over the years. How important uh, was strategy in the early on days? And are you where you uh, believe you should be at this particular stage in your progression? Yeah, you know, I've always been very aggressive. Yeah. And um, hence, uh, I say to people that God has been good to me. Um, I always feel people, uh, people would always, some people would say bad things about me. Some people say good things. But for me now, it's not important. What's important is what I've achieved uh, I'm sitting on it uh, um, <clears throat> some good international uh, platforms um, yes I, I've achieved what I what I wanted to achieve but I want more uh, my target now is um, West Africa I'm trying to see if I can first obviously get on to one or two boards in West Africa whether whether it's financial services um, whether it's uh, logistics, in the fuel space, um, talking to red, we're talking to some people in Ghana already. Okay. Um, see, we'll see what happens there. Maybe that's what that would be my first step into West Africa. Who knows? Maybe uh, the United Kingdom uh, next. But whichever comes first, uh, I haven't arrived yet. Okay. That's that's the answer I should give you. All right. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. And I think on a, on a final note, um, when you, I know you've been very, very encouraging even to the Financial Insight story. I think uh, just recently, you know, Financial Insight made uh, one, uh, one um, achieved one milestone where we signed on uh, with KPMG. Um, and congratulations. To and thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. And uh, essentially, what would you say for young entrepreneurs that are seeking to invest in, you know, to have, uh, you know, an arm in with several different businesses, what sort of advice would you actually give them uh, in order to, uh, you know, to, in order to succeed? Uh, advice to this, uh, to the young ones, <clears throat> you know, be focused, um, be focused, don't give up. I always feel uh, spirit of laziness is not the way to go. We not, you don't need to be lazy. Uh, I'll give you as an example, look at Buela, where he started mm -hmm. from. Uh, financial Insight is an international brand now, so they should take uh, examples from you and me. Um, I know most people would have never thought that uh, I, I would uh, own businesses like Southern Logics, like Kamoto, uh, but here I am. Um, hard work, it pays. Hard work pays, and um, yeah, and don't be jealous about the next person. Just do what you can do. Don't focus because the more time you focus on being jealous on the next person, you waste a lot of time. Focus on your own thing. Move on. Move on what you've planned, what you're planning. I think for me, that would be the best advice I can give now. Right. No, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Mdenda. And, thank you so much. Thank uh, you for having those, me. Those, uh, those final remarks are obviously an inspiration to us at Financial Insight. And uh, we definitely wish you well in your next endeavor and we'll definitely be watching your next chapter Thank in the, the various uh, interests that you'll, you will be uh, pursuing. Uh, to our viewers, thank you so much uh, for joining us uh, on this uh, particular episode. 
and uh, we encourage you to continue watching the Financial Insight Show. We're available on DSTV. We stream on our Facebook platform as well as the KAB platform. And also follow us on our social media platforms that also include Twitter, uh, Instagram, and the professional uh, uh, network, which is LinkedIn as well, for all the highlights and insights from Financial Insight Zambia. Have a pleasant day.